Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Montazo and today I'll show you a quick tutorial how to enable voice commands in F1 2015 on PC version. Now, although it's not actually officially possible to use the voice commands in game, there is some hidden files in the game folders which after installing enables you to use the voice recognition technology and uh, just play the game with voice commands which I personally found very useful because well as I'm using my Xbox controller on of course on PC uh, I haven't found uh, very useful to you know just uh, toggle through it uh, with uh, the d-pad and uh, well the quick menu feels a bit uh, clingy also that's the word but uh, I'll be showing you quickly how to use it and what is available and just I hope you find this tutorial useful so yeah let's go to the first and well the most needed stage the needed files installing so let's go so there we have my desktop and as you see it's a bit uh, messy uh, sorry about that and also one thing before we start uh, as you see my in windows interface is lithuanian not english not uh, anything anything else but lithuanian so if you think well i'm wonder if i am for example my windows is russian could i use it on Eng could i use it of course you can. It doesn't depend on your Windows language. It depends on what languages are you, what languages have you installed. Sorry about that. So yeah, for example, I have Lithuanian and uh, I can use it. So how to activate that? It's very easy. You just need to install a few files which you can already find in your main game folder. So. I have already opened the game folder, which for me is D Games F1 2015 because mm, I am a pirate. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You're a pirate indeed. Being a pirate is a recipe. <clears throat> sorry. Really, I'm. I really sorry. I'm really sorry, Codemasters, but I don't think that this game needs buying. I'm. I'm very afraid that this game does need buying because it could be much better. But anyway, let's continue with that. And so I have already the latest update. And with the latest update, although the Codemasters say it's still being developed, you can find the folder in your main in your main game folder. You can find the folder name installers. So double click it and you're introduced with a lot of installers well it depends on what language are you playing on for example if you're playing on german you might even get uh, additional german recognition for example i got english recognition which is uh, australian version canadian version great britain version and us ver usa version and uh, we i have fifth installer which is x64 speech platform runtime which is the main installer you need to use so for example i'll open this although i have already installed that so yeah we have an an installer so you just install it i'll just quickly repair just in case you know and uh, yeah you install that after that you need to install the lang pack which comes with your game so, for example, as I said, if you have the game in German, then it, then you will have Germ German installer. If you have English, you'll get English installers, like, for example, these four. I don't know. Well, for example, it's this, and it just quickly installs. You don't need to push anything, install it. And, actually, that's it. That's what you needed to do. Now, you just, uh, you can go into the game and just use it. I'll show you, I'll sh show you this in just a second. So I'm I'll be right back. I hope if the game won't won't crash on me again. 
again, I really hope so. Now, before we start, uh, and as you see, I'm here on my championship season, still in round one, because I'm doing full practice, full qualifying, and 50% uh, race. Uh, I want to say one thing, because uh, I, th I think most of the people don't know this. So, if you know that F1 2015 came with a lot of bugs, and, uh, well, you couldn't actually use it with Xbox 360 controller as I'm using right now so the main fix which is still the main fix because uh, the game doesn't work any anywhere else is uh, you have to connect your gamepad after the game goes into this main menu so then you can fully control it and don't get any controller bugs so yeah, that's a quick fix for X360 controller, and now let's jump into a quick race, and for example, Italy, because uh, Italy will be our next track. The Autodromo at, di Monza, Italy. This is this the fastest circuit track in Formula One, will with be long straights this broken up weekend. by heavy braking zones that allow for some of the closest and most exciting racing in the world. I was talking, you know. <laughs> Never mind. So, yeah, I guess we'll go for Italy because uh, the race will be next uh, weekend, so of course I will be driving for Ferrari because Ferrari is my favorite team. I'm, I'm go cheering for the team, not for driver. And for Kimi Raikkonen because he is number 7 and 7 is my lucky number. We'll go for 25% race, dynamic weather. Hard AI. Assists. Um, off. I, I have to use ABS. And everything else should be okay. Okay, so... I'll join you in... In a few laps time. And uh, I'll demonstrate how the voice setting... Well, voice commands work. So... It should be right around uh, now. Now. So, as you see, we're in Monza in very rainy conditions, and I'm struggling with grip so much. <laughs> Don't bear, bear with my driving, because I feel like I'm driving quite bad at the moment, but I'm getting used to it. And the grip is to come here. I'm getting close to Ricardo, damn it, too much left. And uh, so I'm interested if we will see improvement in weather. So weather forecast. Oh, shoo, okay. So, that was the first... Uh, uh, how to call it? Example of using the... Your pace is stronger than Ricardo's. He's losing a full second a lap to you. Okay. Vehicle condition. Come on. Okay. So yeah, that's the second example of Hamilton has just taken the lead. Ah, damn it. Went faster than the car ahead. Your best chance of making a pass is through sector one. I'm gaining a lot. Okay. So. Fuel target. Okay, here's the fuel situation at the moment. We have 20 kilos remaining. That's 20 kilos. Well, that's the third. The fuel load. We have spare fuel to use. Oh, that was a cut corner. I have no idea. Okay, I'm getting 
lot now. Okay, I can go with standard. Shift. And we're now racing. Up the one fifty I could use one more explanation. I bomb from America. Oh, I have to use the flashback. Okay, I'm back and I'm now fighting with Massa massively. Innuendos. And for no, no, driver in front. Okay. Sebastian ahead of you. We got this four seconds. You're closing by four tenths per lap. Nine laps to go. Right, there's about three quarters of our starting fuel left in the tank. That's three quarters of our fuel load remaining. Okay. Oh, that's a slap. Full race update. it here so that should be the quick demonstration of how voice control in game works and that it works and it works even while I was recording this video so yeah that should be it for this video leave a like if you enjoyed this video and leave a like if uh, this tutorial for you was useful and uh, I hope that uh, the PC version of the game will be much more entertaining for you guys, as it is now for me. And now I think I'll go finish this race, because uh, it's a bit uh, difficult to drive here, so... Yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video or live stream. We'll see about that. Have a great day.